Hey friends, it's Nancy, and I'm ready to start my next project. Uh, I'm doing Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Uh, so this is um, this is the cover I've chosen, and it has a little tear right here. So I need to do some fixing. I think I'm going to take this out I had a hard time finding green to match this cover and I finally found a, a scrap and I mean a scrap a <laughs> very vintage fabric uh, I should measure this before I go any further Oh, an inch and a quarter. Yeah, so finding fabric to match the cover was a chore, but I need to patch that up. Unfortunately, I took this book apart a long time ago, and I don't know, I don't remember where I got it. I don't remember what year it is. I don't know why I took it apart. Maybe I thought I was going to work on it back then. So far, I haven't. Okay, I think that's probably as far down as I'm going to get. Piece of this, I don't even know what it is. It's got this big roll of some kind of textile, might be for curtains, you know, to do um, like the tops of curtains to put your hooks in or whatever. I don't know, it's handy though for a lot of different things. Like how I'm going to patch this. So I don't, I gotta be careful because I don't want to tear anymore. forceps here. <laughs> okay, that's going to do. So what I want to do is glue square this up. 
Holy moly. There, that's better. <laughs> okay, I will. I noticed the other day when I was watching Diane that she just lays her Sugar Bell, uh, Sugar Bell bottle on its side so it doesn't take so long for the glue to get to the top. Well, I presume that's why she does it. Um, so I have to try to remind myself to do that. So I want to, this is the wrong side of the fabric, I want to make sure I capture as much of the dark green background as I can. trim this off a bit. So I want to make sure I get, I'm getting the green where that little cut is. some of this off, I guess. See how it looks. Well, that's not bad at all, is it? Perfect. I'm kind of happy with that. Now, I need to make a new spine. Let's say it's eight and an eighth. And I think I said it was an inch and a quarter across, didn't I? more or less. <clears throat> okay. Wow, 
Oh, I got two. Oh, so not much going on. Um, in case you missed it, um, I got my pathology report back yesterday and there is no indication of malignancy. Thank goodness. Because I, I was pretty sure, <laughs> I was pretty sure that was it for old me. Um, I was getting my affairs in order and etc, etc. I said an eighth and, eight and an eighth, didn't I? So that's two and a half all together, I guess. Two and a half. At eight and an eighth. Um, Cause uh, I've already had a cancer diagnosis twice and came out on the right side of it. So I thought, all right, lady, this is it for you. You've been lucky, and now your luck's run out. That and I had a uh, a, a friend of ours um, die from ovarian cancer, and it was fast. She was very young, um, just I think she was in her early forties, and. Uh, she got a diagnosis, and then within a few weeks, she was gone. So that was playing on my mind. And I know it, I shouldn't, I should think positive, um, but I'm kind of a worry wart and. I can't resist thinking of the worst case scenario for everything. <laughs> that's kind of my that's kind of my gig. That's my jam. Let me measure that again. Yeah, a little out. Oh, yeah. Just, uh, just a whisker. It was just a whisker. And I know there's a lot, of, you know, lots of you are worry warts too, right? And you've seen me do this a million times, I think, by now. So I'm just wrapping my spine around my uh, repurposed rolling pin. Come on. on there so that it'll create a nicely rounded spine so that my future text block will just settle right in there and look beautiful
not much else going on. Um, did a little, well, I should tell you about my Huga Christmas, or Huga Christmas, depending on how you pronounce it, or <laughs> if you pronounce it. Um, so last night's theme was cozy socks. So I had gotten um, some socks when I was out shopping last week and had them. Oh, I've got several things hidden under the bed. And uh, so yesterday I got out the cozy socks and they were nice. So we sat in front of the electric fireplace. It's not a real one, um, but it does heat the room and it sort of has like a flame-like uh, light show, I guess. And uh, so we caught up on some shows that we hadn't seen yet. So that was fun. Um, I'm not sure what tonight's going to be. I, I've got about a dozen more ideas and the stuff I need to make those ideas happen. Look at this poor thing. I've, <laughs> I do have more elastic somewhere. <laughs> oh, and that broke. Oh, well. All right, so I'll leave that overnight. Uh, this fabric flipped up. Why did you do that? You just come right down there, because otherwise that'll add a lot of bulk. We'll just put that. Yeah, that's perfect. Now, um, I have the little golden book, Alice in Wonderland. I might use some images from here. Or I might cut out some word snippets. Um, we'll just see. But I've also got some other, this is from this is an illustration from a magazine. Uh, this these are from an old uh, encyclopedia. It was on page 1185. So it has some illustrations as well as a, a bit of a story. So there's Alice talking to the Cheshire Cat. white rabbit. I'm trying to put these in order now. Huh. Weird.
Okay, I get it. So it's different stories. So here's the Mad Hatter Tea Party. And Alice. Hmm. I don't know. I, I don't have time to sort through that right now. What's this? This is from a 1955 book. Oh, it has some nice illustrations. I think they're going to be a little big, but some of these color ones are really nice. Look at that bunny. He's cute. Nice. Marjorie Tory. Um, this might be the pages from that book. 1967. So there's going to be some illustrations in here too. Just black and white ones. Whoop! Whoop! There's some color. I think I'm missing some. This was um, the flyleaf. Oh, there's a title page. And here's the uh, the catalog card. That's cool. I'm glad I saw those. And. I have another copy of Alice in Wonderland here. And this was from 19, uh, to uh, Lenore from Aunt Claire. Ooh. Nice. It doesn't look like it. Ooh. I like some of these color illustrations. Let's do two at the same time. Why wouldn't we? So I'm just going to jab my finger in there so that I don't cut through the spine. go. <laughs> this is hard work. <laughs> I'm making a lot of noise, I know. <laughs> There we go. 
I'm just taking off where the The, net ink, the netting is just to take out some of the bulk. Oh, I went out thrifting yesterday. That was a wasted effort. Um, I didn't get anything good except cat litter pan liners. Like fifteen sixteenths. And the like. is about seven and three eighths. shape. I'm not going to take that out. What I am going to do is reinforce the spine overall. With some fabric. Just squaring this up. I don't want this to show. Trimming it down a bit. going to show because it'll be under there. What am I thinking about? Get it together, Nance. Okay, that was the original one. Okay. Now.
on you. Gotta remember to lay this on its side. I did it again. Muscle memory. Just gonna cut these corners off, remove some bulk. And then we'll glue this side down. I'm just going to put this clip on here to make sure that stays down. And I'm just cutting this little piece of textile fabric, whatever you want to call it, there so that the clips don't uh, mark the book.
more. Oh, this side's going to stay down okay. Okay, so that should uh, keep that book going for a few more years. What's cool about this is I can maybe fussy cut an image and uh, mod podge it onto the front cover. I'm not sure. It wasn't something I had planned. Anyway, let's call it a day. Um, there it is. I was looking for my corsage pin that I use to uh, plug this little hole here. Anyway, thanks so much for joining me, and I hope you'll come back again soon so that we can continue working on Alice in Wonderland. Take care. Bye.